Hello and welcome to eMedicore Nurses Corner series. Today's discussion is on a technique to catheterize uncircumcised male patients with swollen and edematous penises. In men with medical conditions such as congestive heart failure, generalized edema, anasarca, and nephrotic syndrome, the uncircumcised foreskin of the penis may become so swollen and edematous that the retraction of the foreskin may be difficult, if not impossible. This makes the identification of the urethral meatus and insertion of the Foley catheter challenging. Proper cleansing, preparing the glans penis, and locating the urethral meatus are necessary steps toward the prevention of catheter association urinary tract infections, C-A-U-T-I, and successful catheterization. Hospitals have a vested interest in CAUTI prevention, as CAUTI is responsible for an estimated 66% to 86% of urinary tract-related nosocomial infections. It is further estimated that as many as 65% to 70% of CAUTI incidences are preventable. Furthermore, health costs may increase as health insurance plans no longer reimburse hospitals to treat hospital-acquired CAUTI. These images show how the penis is so edematous that the glands cannot readily be exposed. Note that the scrotum is also very edematous. To use this technique, wrap the edematous penis and foreskin with a 4x4 gauze. Using your palm and fingers, Gently but firmly squeeze around the penis and foreskin for about 5 minutes. This will cause the edematous foreskin to decrease to the point where we can retract the foreskin to expose the urethral meatus. Remove the gauze and push the penile skin and foreskin backward so that the head of the glans penis will protrude outwards, exposing the urethral meatus. Cleanse the glans penis. Then insert the Foley catheter as usual. These images show how as one squeezes the penis, the swelling in the foreskin reduces significantly. The edema in the penis of these images is significantly reduced compared to the images shown previously. Squeezing the non-infected edematous penis does not cause pain. As shown in these images, this technique is analogous to pushing on the shin with the index finger to check if there is an edema. When pressing on the shin, the edema temporarily disappears, forming a dimple from the pressure of the finger. In conclusion, this technique allows for the proper identification of the urethral meatus and successful catheterization of male patients with edematous foreskins. By exposing the glans penis in patients with edematous foreskins, we can sufficiently cleanse and prepare the surrounding area, thus reducing the incidence of CAUTI. eMedicore, core medical education, for everyone, from everywhere, forever free.